Hello friends, welcome to our channel CBSC English, the topper's choice. In this video, we are going to discuss class 10th, 5th story from the supplementary reader book, Footprints Without Feet. Here we go. At the beginning, we'll talk about the author of this story. H. G. Wells is the author of this story. Herbert George Wells was born on 21st September 1866 and was died on 13th August 1946. He was an English writer, prolific in many genres. He wrote dozens of novels, short stories and works of social commentary, history, satire, biography and autobiography. His work also included two books on recreational war games. Wells is now best remembered for his science fiction novels and is often called the father of science fiction. His most notable science fiction works include The Time Machine, which was published in 1895, The Island of Dr. Mario, published in 1896, the Invisible Man, published in 1897. The War of the Worlds, published in 1898. And the military science fiction, The War in the Air, published in 1907. Wells was nominated for the Nobel Prize in Literature four times. Theme of the story. The story Footprints Without Feet describes the story of a brilliant scientist, Griffin, who degenerated himself into a lawless person. Griffin discovered that the human body could become transparent and invisible, but he misused his great discovery. He did not use the power of invisibility for the welfare of society and humanity at large. He misused it to threaten, trouble and beat innocent persons and rob them. He made illegal entries in stores and shops and stole things from there. He committed a burglary in a clergyman's house in Iping. Griffin remained invisible or unseen only when he was without clothes. If he put on clothes, he lost his invisibility and could be seen by the people around him. The lesson gives a message that misuse of science and its great discoveries can make even a brilliant scientist like Griffin a monster and a threatening lawless person. Introduction to this story. The story is about a scientist. His name was Griffin. One day he discovered a wonderful drug. This drug could make him invisible. He set his landlord's house on fire. Then he took the drug. He became invisible. He could see everybody but nobody could see him. But it was very cold. He was without clothes. He went into a store. He passed his night there. He stole money and clothes from there. He went to a village called Iping. There he stayed at an inn. He stole some money. The police were called but he became invisible and escaped from there. Now we'll discuss the summary of this story. Footprints Without Feet is an interesting story written by Herbert George Wells. The story is about a brilliant scientist named Griffin who had developed a drug that could make a man invisible. He was successful in his experiment and developed a formula that had the power of invisibility. By consuming the drug, a man could become transparent that could not be seen with the naked eye. 
Griffin carried out the experiment on himself, so he gulped the drug and his body became transparent like a sheet of glass. Inadvertently, he stepped in mud and the fresh muddy imprints of his feet were all over the place. It was first seen by two young boys who followed his footprints until they became fainter and disappeared altogether. Although Griffin was an outstanding scientist, he was a lawless man. His landlord disliked him and had asked him to eject the house. In vengeance, Griffin set the house on fire and soon wandered around the streets without food, money and clothes. Owing to his invisibility, no one could see him and as he was walking down the streets, he started feeling cold and entered a big London shopping centre to warm himself. After the stores were shut down, he picked up some comfortable clothes to warm himself and fed himself with cold meat and some coffee from a nearby restaurant. Later, he slept on a pile of quilts in the store. The following morning, some associates started approaching him and he removed all his clothes immediately and became invisible again. As Griffin wandered without clothes in the chilly weather, he could feel the biting cold and decided to take some clothes from a theatre company. Soon, he found an appropriate shop and wore bandages around his forehead, a false nose, dark glasses, big bushy side whiskers and a huge hat. Then he went to a shopkeeper's store and stole all his money. He realized that staying in a crowded city like London could be difficult for him. So he thought of moving to the Iping village. He had booked two rooms at the local inn in the village and reached there by boarding a train from London. It was quite an unusual experience for the villagers to expect an outsider with a strange appearance who had come to stay at the hotel during winter. Mrs. Hall, the wife of the landlord of the inn, tried to be friendly with him, but Griffin did not want to talk to her. Soon enough, his money was exhausted and he started stealing to sustain himself. Due to his suspicious appearance, the inn owner and his wife attempted to check his room while he was away. Out of anger, Griffin damaged the furniture of the inn and threw it across the room towards them. The owner and his wife got scared, thinking that there were spirits around and their unusual guest was responsible for all the chaos. Meanwhile, Mrs. Hall requested the town constable, Mr. Jaffers, to inquire about the identity of this peculiar individual and arrest him for damaging her furnishings. This annoyed Griffin further and he decided to reveal his identity as he started unwrapping his bandages, whiskers, spectacles and nose. Everyone was shocked to see this as there was no normal human being hidden behind the bandages. The constable could not catch hold of Griffin as he took off all his garments, became invisible and disappeared in thin air. Now we'll discuss the main characters of the story. Number 1. Griffin Griffin was an extraordinary and brilliant scientist. He discovered that the human body could become invisible and transparent as a sheet of glass. It was the result of his long and constant experimentation. 
However, he misused his discovery only for his personal gains, committing theft and burglaries and beating and robbing innocent persons. He could have earned fame and respect had he utilized his great discovery for the welfare of humanity. But his activities made him a lawless and an anarchist. His invisibility was possible only when he didn't wear any clothes. If dressed up, he could lose his invisibility. He had to remain without clothes even in the chilly weather of midwinter to remain invisible. He had to make illegal entries and burglaries in a clergyman's house, a big store in London and a shop in Drury Lane. This brought him to disrepute and dishonor instead of fame and respect. Number 2. Mrs. Hall The landlord's wife at the local inn in Iping, she was more than happy to receive a guest in the lean season. Mrs. Hall was convinced that her strange guest was an eccentric scientist. She excused his strange habits and irritable behavior because he had paid her in advance. When she noticed the strange behavior of her furniture in her guest room, she was convinced that the room was haunted by spirits. She dared to question even the eccentric scientist Griffin. She also asked how he entered a locked room. Number 3. Jaffers He is the village constable. He is a very determined person. He is called to the inn when the stranger unveils himself and creates chaos. He was quite surprised to find that he had to arrest a man without a head. But Jaffers couldn't be easily prevented from doing his duty. The constable tried to catch hold of a person whom he couldn't see at all. In the end, Jaffers made the last attempt to hold on to the unseen scientist Griffin. Jaffers was knocked down unconscious. Now we'll discuss the main points of the story. Two boys were surprised at the muddy footprints of a pair of bare feet. The boys followed those footmarks until they became fainter and finally completely disappeared. Griffin was a brilliant scientist who discovered that the human body could become invisible and transparent. Griffin became a lawless person. His landlord disliked him and wanted to eject him. In revenge, he set his house on fire. Griffin became a homeless wanderer without clothes and money. The air was bitterly cold in midwinter and Griffin could not do without clothes. So, he entered a big London store to warm and feed himself. The invisible man pleased himself with wine and sweets and fitted himself with warm clothes. He slept on a pile of quilts. Griffin could be invisible only when he was naked. Next morning, the employees came and saw him because he was dressed up. Griffin ran away and became invisible by throwing off his clothes one by one. He came to Drury Lane where he bandaged himself around the head, dark glasses, false nose, big bushy side whiskers and a large hat in a shop. Griffin left crowded London and came to the village of Iping. Mrs. Hall was pleased to have a guest in winter and tried to be friendly with her guest. 
The stranger snubbed Mrs. Hall and told her not to disturb him anymore. Griffin had no cash and he burgled a clergyman's house to get it. The surprised clergyman and his wife found their desk open and the money missing. They searched for the thief but were surprised not to find him anywhere. One day, the landlord and his wife, Mrs. Hall, found their guest's room widely open, which was usually kept shut and locked. They came to the stranger's room and found his hat hitting into Mrs. Hall's face. The chair started moving and pushed Mrs. and Mr. Hall out of the room. Mrs. Hall felt that the house was haunted by spirits and ghosts. Even the villagers thought so. One day, Mrs. Hall asked her guest what he had been doing to her chair and how he entered a locked room. The scientist became furious and shouted, I'll show you. Suddenly, he threw off bandages, whiskers, spectacles and even nose. Mrs. Hall and the people in the bar were horrified staring at a headless man. The constable Jaffers was informed and he came to arrest the stranger. The policeman tried to get hold of a man who started throwing his garments one by one and became invisible. Jaffers and the people who came to help him were hit by blows from nowhere. Jaffers was knocked unconscious when he tried to hold on to the unseen scientist. So dear friends, if you have liked this video, please click on like, subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching.